what a win for those villains, Vish. I know. A great Vish, before, start. Before you come in on that, do you mind if I just do a quick line I've got here? Uh, you can't beat a good night with young boys at the Wankdorf, and I've always said that. <laughs> Carry right, on. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Go look okay. at that box. You've got a ticket. Because I was going to point out the fact that, the fact you know, because it was played at AstroTurf, there was a point maybe halfway through the game where someone, mainly on Villa's side, should have shouted, should we mix up the teams here? <laughs> Because it was Next very one side. I think young boys would have accepted that. <laughs> yeah. Although yeah. you don't want to piss off their manager, who looks like one of the hardest men in Europe. He does, but he um, he also when they when they gave away the second goal, where the uh, young boys defender tries to do a very cool back pass to the keeper, Watkins yeah. nips in, gets fouled, and then Ramsey puts it in. <laughs> the manager was like. It was almost like an, an American um, sitcom dad. It's like, why are we always doing this? This is crazy. Because, you know, Brassel told us um, before. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, they haven't won a game in the Swiss Super League this season. And it looked time. like it. Yes. He, he strikes me as a man who um, would join the cast of Neighbours as an, uh, in a sort of an entrepreneur. I think you know he, yeah, I mean? he's got yeah. Lou Robinson about him. And I, sleep with someone far too young. Yes. Do you yeah. mean Lou Carpenter? Yeah, what did I say? Lou Robinson. Robinson. You've mixed That's up two Robinson. of the characters there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lou Robinson went to my you, school. You, you, <laughs> no, he's he, he, he Peter Unglove around. Uh, he'd, probably be, <laughs> he'd probably be more like Harold Mangle. <laughs> 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 Pete, have you taken Paul Robinson and Lou Carpenter and tried to amalgamate them together to make one kind of supervillain? Just mixing up the teams. <laughs> no, you Marvel neighbours supervillain. <laughs> oh, dear. But I, th- I think that Patrick Rahman <laughs> looks like a combination of Big Ange and Fatty Terim. A little bit, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like could, and that's why he's so hard, because Ange is probably the hardest Premier League manager. Yeah. Certainly the angriest. Uh, let's talk about that on Uncut. Why not? Yeah. yeah. I th- we, haven't I think, done, we haven't done hardest managers for a while. We haven't. <laughs> I, I, think the, I think the young boys were all quite frightened of upsetting the manager based on what mm. we've seen seen from them domestic this season and what we saw yeah. last night um, it could have been a cricket score couldn't it was it I mean it was just every so so stop there every every score is a cricket score okay. unless unless um, yeah, true. one team scores 11 sorry no no <laughs> sorry unless both teams scores 11 every right. team it okay. could have been a tennis score yeah take that right mm, deuce 15 Sk- love skateboarding okay. score do you uh, score uh, skateboarders yeah. you can do if you, you want it do, yeah. mm, 99 um, it could have been an ice skating score but mm. I think it, you know ultimately it was 5.4 it was <laughs> <laughs> it, on aggregate it was uh, what was uh, the score 5.4 nil what? Luke, you'll agree with me when I say it was like young boys v men it was against yeah. lions like, uh, villains villains and lions All villainous lions yes indeed but it was a comprehensive win for Aston Villa it's exactly what they wanted that's what we're getting there to there was yeah. talk about the AstroTurf being a bit tricky but it would appear that professional footballers have transferable skills from grass to artificial grass. Because everyone's playing on it, aren't they? Uh, indeed, yes. Disappointed that no one, um, none of the Villa players took up your idea to put all their bags behind the goal. That was, un- that was upsetting. <laughs> well, I didn't need to in the but end, otherwise, so, so, so fair play. It's but funny not- though, um, sorry, very quickly, but you know a lot of the problems that you'd often have mm. on us, Ast- like us mere mortals would have on AstroTurf, mm. Some of those problems were, you know, you you could see them in that game yesterday. Mm, for example, yeah. mainly with young boys, actually, ironically, given that they play there so often. Well, it's a home ground. But, mm. like, their touch was getting away from them. Yeah. And it seemed to be easy to breeze past players mm-hmm. if you were really quick because there was an element of kick and run. And yeah. Villa were... They clearly, well, you know, whatever training session they did the night before worked very well because they seemed, barring, like, an initial, like you know, I suppose getting used to it in a match situation. Mm. They seem so comfortable. Yeah, they did. And I think I think what it really comes down to is essentially as you've alluded to there, picking up the pace and picking up the bounce. Once you've done that it really, it's, it's not going to be that much of a big deal, particularly not these days, because AstroTurf isn't like it used to be. I mean, when people, when people hark back to the days of, you know, Kenilworth Road and Loftus Road and all the rest yeah. of it, I mean, that's a very different surface to what Astro, the AstroTurf surface is now. It's yeah. different still to, 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 um, to say what you know Villa mm-hmm. would be used to, but actually, as as we all know, the Premier League surfaces are all kind of hybrid anyway. Yeah, exactly, and they're closer mm. to what that is. I'd as say 4G, so. Yeah. I think so. And it also depends on what's underneath it, because I think was it Andy saying yesterday on the show that um, Monaco's pitch is really tricky, even though it's not artificial because there's a car park underneath, and so it's laid on something different, mm. which means it feels different. So I think I think you know, it's, it, I think they're used to playing on slightly different surfaces. As well, I mean, I one might ask the question why they've gone for this completely different surface to everyone else. I like, think it's che- I think it's cheaper to maintain. Yeah, I think. Right. I think it's weather yeah. isn't it? Okay. Yeah, probably weather. Yeah, but weather, but like they're, they're I mean, Switzerland's not that bad. They're it? online with like the or maybe of France. like they're weird. Yeah, but maybe they have snowy winters, Peter. Yeah, right. Ah, uh, though right. I know they, they're storing all their money under. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 all the banks yeah, are full. Yeah. Yeah. Probably are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's probably not go are. too far down that. Track. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. we know where it ends up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Villa, how many goals? Pete, your phone's ringing again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the monument men. <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many um, goals did they have disallowed last night, Villa? At least two. Yeah, two. Yeah. 
So it could, yes, indeed, it, mm. it could have been a, a lovely goal. score. Mm. But uh, look, it was it, yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, you could mentioned have been an archery score. <laughs> it could have been. You mentioned Ramsey's uh, goal earlier. He was so composed, wasn't he? When uh, yeah, because could have stopped playing. So and he thought, I, I think I'll just put this in, and Ollie won't get the uh, <laughs> but he, he won't get he the pen. <laughs> he had to shunt Ollie Watkins off. He's like, get out of the way. Yeah, exactly. He's a free goal from here. Get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you first think of uh, Morgan Rogers? I think he looks so good. Yeah, he's, he's had a good class. start to the season, hasn't he? And I think I saw. Um, Whoever Villa played last time out, um, Lee Carsley was there, wasn't he? What, against Everton? Yeah, and he could have been watching a number of players, I suppose. But I okay. wondered, I thought Rogers might get a nod into the first squad. Yeah, yeah, maybe. He, he unlucky I remember you out. mentioned him. I forget which Villa game it was. Perhaps one they won 1-0 um, a couple of games ago in the Premier League. Um, maybe even the Arsenal No, game. I think it was the West Ham game. Oh, was it? it the West Ham well, game? Whichever yeah. it was, yeah. you know, I remember you mentioned him saying he looks a player. And you're absolutely right. Yeah. Well, the, his... his um, there was a game last season where he essentially seemed to boss from the left wing. Mm. I've never really seen anything since well, Luis Figo. Yeah, well, but it was um, he would kind of drift in, but then like dribble past people. He'd get the ball in the middle and mm. then go back to his original position yeah. while taking out two or three people. Yeah. Right. But yeah, he looks he looks so good. One of those. Young I don't players. know where he plays. Yeah, well, exactly. I was about to say he's like one of those young players now who, again, back in the day when we were growing up, you'd be, you're, you're a left midfielder and that's yeah. all you do. Whereas now, you kind of it's just like you're either a forward player or a yeah. midly player yeah, or you're a defensively so. player. Right. And, you, and a bit yeah. of everything. It's almost, you know, we're bordering on total football, damn it all. But he is that, you know, there's a bit of academy um, in there. Yeah, four uh, years at City. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And, uh, you know, he's got the... It's, I think it's the positional awareness of younger players these days. Yeah. Being able to drive. You look at someone like Rico Lewis, for example. Who's yeah, much he's a great said, example of it. Yeah. Very fluid yeah you see the footballing yeah. education youngsters get nowadays mm. yeah but whereas it wasn't that long ago where, where england were producing a, a number of players who you'd say oh you know amazing at running with the ball can score a, a goal but actually the the, the 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 brain is maybe not there does that, does that limit your kind of movements and your attractiveness um like moving forward because if you're a manager mm. who isn't you know a pep guardiola yes he's got a, a, a hole that he needs filling yes um, yeah and 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 you're looking at a player and you're like, mm. i don't really know where he plays so i don't really know that he'll, he'll fit into this system True. because he doesn't he's not owned a particular but that's why you position. have a, that's why you have an agent to do your sales pitch for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. whatever you want mate you want a left midfielder he'll do left midfielder it wasn't for that you. long before that that the, the general coaching consensus in this country was that you don't give the players the ball during the week because they'll want it more at the weekend Indeed, yeah. <laughs> that genuinely <laughs> was yeah. the you case. Go back a few decades yeah, but, but, but you are right that long to, ago. it wasn't that long ago no um, hey but we did win a world cup with it <laughs> um, <laughs> apparently mm. uh, I've been told many many times but yes but Aston Villa um, it's a great start as well and it's sets them up well because you know a tricky fixture and blah blah you talk about the pitch and, and so on and so forth they've got some huge ones coming they have they've, they've got a great combination in this draw obviously they could have drawn a different number of different teams yes. but they've got a great combination of like winnable games like yes. Young Boys or um, Bologna at home or Club Bruges you say Celtic at home as well I know Celtic it's, the final, that's their final game isn't yeah, it yeah but it's still winnable for and them. They've, they've also got some big ones you guys talked about it yesterday I'd like to echo the thoughts that you guys said yesterday about how the pricing has been a disgrace uh -huh. that's a slightly mm. separate point I just want to emphasise that I totally agree but um, if they if fans are able to go um, they've got a good combination of games there and I think that was a great start for them and I think what what, um, what I've found that's the, sorry to interrupt but that is the draw isn't it that's what we UEFA have been trying to do yeah. is get a good combination yeah I think so you know so like but it's slightly different it could, been have, it, could been, it could have been tougher and it, it could have been you know, a tricky away um, away, away trip um, after an international break and all the rest of it they they they, you know, they, did, they did well but they've got Emery in place and Emery's the key thing here because Emery's experience in, in European football is so big mm -hmm. that um, it should stand them in pretty good stead and they've got they've got loads of good players and, and, and it's in this kind of situation where you go okay Aston Villa have not been in the European Cup for 40 plus years or whatever it is um, the power of the Premier League means they've got so many good players mm -hmm. that actually even though they're really debutants in the Champions League they look like you know miles better than a, than, a, than, a, than, a, than a European team they're playing against because that's the power of the Premier League. Yeah, and they went, they've been far in European competition, of course. That last season they did it, but then yeah. they were they were beaten by a side with you know uh, a far lesser budget than them. Yeah, and that goes to the, you know could be a little bit more canny, a little bit more experienced, which of course Emery is, but some of those players aren't. Whereas actually, I think that will serve them quite well. One thing I will say about Emery though is he's, he's got to make the right substitutions, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, but historically he's uh, he's been criticised, but then also lauded for being very good at substitutions. So I am well, talking about the admin era. 
Oh, well, well, right. oh, oh right. I, okay, I've sorry, actually yeah. seen this. Oh, well, there was apparently uh, the, the Villa accidentally subbed the wrong player in the 89th minute. Is that his fault, though? Emery was furious. Not his fault, then. Is it this was... up there when Steve Bruce forgot you could do five subs? <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Newcastle then, Pete? Yeah, was it West Was it Newcastle? I thought, I thought it was, was he going absolutely yeah. crazy yeah. at that. Hang on a minute. So no, got... it, you remember, he actually admitted it. I know it's an element you're kicking them when he's down, Steve mm. Bruce, because he obviously is you know, the kind of guy he is. Mm. But well, where else can you kick but, him? You, you know, mm. From memory, he went really hard against voting against five subs, didn't he? <laughs> yes. In, when the, when and the then Premier tried to make a fifth sub. And then got that in his head that so therefore you couldn't do it even mm. though he lost the vote and then yeah. he, he didn't realise he could do five because yeah, people yeah. were saying why don't you bring someone on mm-hmm. and he forgot about it so it's not as bad as that is it? <laughs> no it's not as bad as that it was it was an admin error so clearly so I we don't know the ins and outs um, but but the, the board went up for the substitutes and it was not the player that Emery wanted to take off I think it was a triple substitution so he didn't want to take off Luca Dina is that I can't remember what, who it was or? I think it maybe I think um, was it uh, Anana he wanted to take off maybe right and mm. uh, and and it was a different number. And UEFA rules or laws state that if once the number is on the board, you can't change it. That's right. Once it's done, you can't go back. Yeah, mm. but I, I think Emery was suggesting that no, I didn't give you that number. You know, right. oh, it looks like a nine. Is, is that a nineteen or is that an eighteen? <laughs> is that a five or an S? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, he was really unhappy about it. It's not it. affected it though, is it? It's, it's not affected it, but it, I, I tell you what, it's just as well that uh, the man he wanted to bring off didn't get injured or something like that because yeah. that, mm. that would have been a sick now. We might well have seen. Um, Unai Emery get even more angry. Uh, the highlight of the whole trip, I think we'll agree, is that um, the Aston Villa captured it on video. A, a tram driving through the town and an oversized Champions League football so was bouncing cool. around and yeah. the tram bashed into it. Yeah, yeah it was so like cool. It was like the tram did a diving header. Because so I suppose cool. what else could the tram do? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, no. So absolutely cool. It stopped, it yeah. stopped, stopped right perfectly in the right to make the kit. Yeah, it's yeah. about the, the, the shirt as well. It was, it was pleasing. It was yeah, pleasing. very pleasing. Um, they, they must have cleared the streets so that giant football wouldn't have hit someone, right? Yeah, I don't know what was happening. I <laughs> well, you did it for a laugh. Yeah, yeah. But you saw that coming down, <laughs> like Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, they always say they're very sanitised in Switzerland, don't they? Yeah. Like this. Yeah, we're under attack. I imagine a lot of health and safety executive forms were filled out, and everyone, everyone was signed off, and it was fine. Yeah. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. I think so. Well, yeah. yeah, but the worrying thing is, though, peace after, of mind for you, Vish. After <laughs> all that, Champions League footballs will roll. Stay safe. Yes. Stay tram football safe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Control <laughs> control the football. Don't go on the tracks. I mean, you, you need to go on the tracks because it's the road, isn't you it? Have you, you have to. You have to in these European to. cities. Yeah. And Croydon, weirdly enough. Manchester as well. Yeah. And Manchester, yeah. Absolutely. And there's, and there's and more. Glasgow, yeah. just now. Yeah. 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 Before and you, Edinburgh for a bit. Before you tweet us, we know there's more. Okay. <laughs> but if you do want to tweet us, tell us specifically. They can't yeah. tweet us. They have to X us. And Beamish. Yeah. The, Beamish, the yeah. historical museum. Yes. <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> uh, if you do want to tweet us about trains or uh, trams, Josh. if you want to X us Thank about you. trains and trams, you can always catch us at, at Jim Campbell TFL <laughs> on X. Poor uh, old Jim TFL, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! So yeah, great win for Villa. Good start for them, and they and they you know they they march up the table. They, they do they march up the they table do. They, do. they are safe from relegation at yeah. the moment it almost is funny that table isn't it because when it starts to take shape it almost looks a bit like a European Super League doesn't it shut up yeah. <laughs> shut up <laughs> It's like in the, the American office where they turn the pyramid upside down. It's, like, it's not yeah. a pyramid scheme. It's not a pyramid yeah. scheme. Exactly. Got, yeah. I just need to make some calls. Exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. Elsewhere in the Champions League, Liverpool beat AC Milan 3 1. Yeah. Asocion Calcio Milan yeah. were beaten 3 1 by Liverpool Football Club. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they weren't running oh, up though, Vish. It's like watching the TNT Sports Champions League highlight show. <laughs> yeah, what was that about? If you can't yeah, show all can't the goals, don't the goals. do the goal show. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> or it should be like called the Sum of the Goals show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should also be called, I know why you're here, you're looking for the Liverpool game, we don't have it. No, also, it <laughs> also, I think there's an element though, if you can show some of them, that's worse than not going to show any of them. I don't, yeah, I don't agree it's confusing. That, yeah, yeah that, that, that's, because that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You never grew up watching sports scene match of the day in Scotland. No, it's not you, better. No, but if you've got Soccer Saturday, for example, yeah. you know where you stand. Yeah. Mm. You're yeah. watching people watching the game. That's what you've signed up for. Mm. If you if you get excited about a game that you can watch a highlights of and you see a goal go in or whatever, and the next game they start talking about you can't, it's, you don't know where you are with it. I, it's well, a bad viewer experience. Especially. And, and that's and not because of Julian Laurent. Yeah. But <laughs> Uh, we get it you support PSG um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. not um, it was ruined straight away by the fact that 
Pulisic scored so early. Exactly. So they were like, mm. oh, Liverpool are 1-0 down mm. somewhere. That was, yeah, that was <laughs> the first thing you kind of experienced while yeah. looking at it. Exactly right. It's but. like on uh, Grandstand on Saturday on the BBC where they used to pretend that there were no three o'clock kickoffs in the Premier League. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Well, there was and there still are just a mm. few. But yeah, Liverpool, good win for them. I mean, it was Arna Slot's birthday um, mm. and he said, the fans sung for my birthday. Normally you prefer to be with your family, but this is a good Alternative it depends on your family, surely. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I, I was on uh, CNN World Sports yesterday. Oh, hello! And I oh. couldn't, I couldn't. Help you couldn't them. see the goals. Uh, yeah. What I could see was the auto cue. Right. And uh, Amanda Davis that presented very, very well because um, Arna Slot was written as Arse Slot. Was it? Oh, and, dear. Uh, and I was looking wow. at looking at the auto cue, thinking, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah. And you could wait, could you? And she was. Tim loved you. Would have read that. Uh, well, I, had I have done, I would have literally been. But getting in the way of the actual presenter of the no, show. No, but I'm saying Tim Lovejoy, if it, if it was Tim Lovejoy presenter, he would have read it as it was. In a very monotone way. It reminds me of a time, do you remember a guy we used to work with, Pete, called Tom Irison? Uh, I don't know. But... Okay, he, 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 was, um, he was a boss of mine very briefly, and uh, he booked a restaurant for dinner, for a team dinner once, mm-hmm. and obviously he booked it with the, the guy at the restaurant who English was like his second language. Yeah. So he said, oh, my name's Tom Irison, and he wrote, and obviously the guy wrote it down, said a table for eight or whatever for Tom Irison. When we went there that night, Tom turned up and said, oh, I've got a table for eight under the name Tom Morrison. And the guy, the same guy, still on shift, mm. couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. And cut a long story short, um, we found out that he had written it down accidentally as Tony Arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. so he then became that's, known as Tony Arsehole. That's, for very, that's very much going to stick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so it's very yeah. similar to the Arnie yeah. Slot situation there. Have you, right? bit, have, yeah. you, have you ever um, experienced, because you can get um, anal fissures, can't you? Which would yeah. be a literal Arna, uh, ass slot, slot, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I suppose. Some yeah. people have to clean them with um, cotton buds. That's good to stop know. Stop getting infected. Good you to know, me? Marcus, yeah. and it's good to know that. Yeah, it it is, yeah, Peace yeah. of mind. If you do want to come you... to the show on Friday, <laughs> <laughs> how That's do you get? What how... I'm going to be doing it in half time. <laughs> how, how do you get that job? And what's the interview process? <laughs> yeah, I think you've got to do it yourself. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's okay. awkward, though, isn't it? Mm. What? You well, think getting... of the angles. Yeah, you would need. I presume you can reach back there. Yeah, if you can find one little hole, you can find the other one, can't you? You'd hope. Yeah, you go to the bathroom, don't you? Marcus, wrestle this battle. We used to having a nightmare. Talking of assholes. You're the one who. Oh, see, I told you. Calm down. Fucking hell, Marcus. Especially as I was in the middle of doing a very good link and Vish jumped in. I hope he doesn't do that at the Palladium. Exactly, Marcus. Can you relax a nervous studio guest, please? Okay. Dark forces. Would you like me to say something horrendously sexist to calm you down? Yeah, go on then. Men are crap <laughs> and should listen more. Um, yes. I'm not trying to solve problems. <laughs> but yes. Uh, Arna so, Slot. Arna Slot. Arna yeah, so slot. he did well. He, I, I am impressed with him on, on the. Jamie ran up here hanging on the back of us. <laughs> Problem is with the old, the old, the image that's put in your mind when you mm. think of that keys thing about red nap. It, yeah. it's just, it, let me just finish. In my <coughs> mind, when I think of red nap yeah. potentially hanging out the back of something, <laughs> he's wearing those sketches now. No, I, yeah, and I that just nothing pre, else. Pre, just no, no, but I just think I think the whole sort of image of that, you know, it just feels like you've got your hand caught in a, a car boot and you're being dragged down the street. That's what I think of that. Hanging out the back of the it car. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. Wearing the sketches that you haven't got to touch? Wearing your sketches. <laughs> the thing I always thought with that, that you know, imagery that mm. Key's concocted there is you walk in the room, the first person you make eye contact with is Jamie Redknapp. Yeah, mm, yeah, okay, yeah, right, yeah, fair, fair. Yeah, fair. that's what, yeah, yeah. true. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, furtive. Um, can I say something about the game? Just very quickly, <clears throat> yeah, if you don't please, mind. Please, please. Uh, obviously, Mike Mangion, the big man himself, yes. had to go off injured, didn't he? Did. He did. Was that because he was genuinely injured or because he got absolutely bullied by Canate and Van Dyke for both <laughs> the goals that sent Liverpool ahead? Very straightforward yeah. goals. And, and he's I mean, normally. Van Dyke's was. Do you reckon he, he's either injured before that? Or he's been pulled. I don't know. Off but Van Dyke, it just seemed to be. He just he took a couple of steps back. Had a yeah. free header about four well, or five yards you out. You cannot have. It I thought of, it was. I couldn't believe. I understand you have lapses of concentration and blah blah blah. blah happened and twice like, though. And Gabriel had one against Spurs and all that. Oh, it happens every single time Spurs concede. Yeah. Every single time Spurs but, concede a goal, Vicario's on his ass with his hands up in the air. <laughs> looking at the yeah. It's like you need to understand how this works by <laughs> now. God, like Van Dyke barely jumped for it. You mm. can't. You can't I, have a situation. And him as well. Like, I just think. I just think with him, he goes. I'm so good positionally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't well, really I think yeah. to mate, do mate, 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 I should jump more often. Yeah. Yeah. A, a, lot of, a lot of goalkeepers need to be in command of their six-yard box mm. at a set picks. But you think an experience and a quality keeper He's like a great him, keeper. Unless, as you say, there was an injury preventing him doing that at that yeah. moment in the game. I, I don't know. 
Uh, but of course, he went off, um, and uh, the sub keeper looked about 15 years old. He did. <laughs> he did. For uh, Lorenzo Torriani, yeah, 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 yeah. he genuinely looked like two kids in a coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like Vincent Adultman from Bojack Horseman. He looked like that. It was absurd. Yeah, mm. and he but he also like I, I was kind of waiting for him to do something, but he didn't actually have anything to do in the end. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, yeah, he one, one goal. More, but yeah, nothing to do yeah, with yeah but as in like he, you know he didn't make a. But, save it, or yeah, like but that. it was uh, despite. I genuinely going, wanted to see if he could actually kick far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But despite going down obviously early on, Liverpool again just the way they came back into it, obviously Salah hit the bar a couple of times. He did. There was just such an inevitability about it. And to be honest, not, not that I'm criticising for only winning 3-1, but mm. I thought they'll go on. I know Milan had a sort of a late flurry, but Liverpool looks like the you know a, a typical Klopp side in a, in, a, in a Champions League game for, for Liverpool. It was just, OK, fine, that's a minor setback. We'll go about our yeah. business. Mm. We'll just turn the screw and very quickly got in, got in control of the game and were creating chances a matter of time before they scored. And they were impressive. I felt like... I feel like... Because um, Milan aren't crap. I know they're not... You no, know, good. They, they were they were pretty juvenile yesterday. They were, but I'm saying that they've, you know, it's still a good, it's still a good victory. They feel to me like a Turkish team. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? You look at the yeah. players I've got, and you go, oh, right. is he playing for them? You know, Prudisic <laughs> and Maratta and you know Tamori and Loftus Cheek and all these players. You go, oh yeah, I remember all those guys. High but, wages, but you're not getting a signing on. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. and then you and then you think, you know, sometimes when you watch Turkish teams, you're like, have they met? Yeah, yeah. Do they know each other? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the, the um. The, the situation with Liverpool, it feels like to me in the early stages of watching them play under slot, they just seem quite efficient. Mm -hmm. They just seem a bit like... Forrest seemed to be a bit of an odd blip, but you know, it happens though. those games can happen, especially yeah. how well Forrest played. And, uh, you know, as, as somebody said, um, you know, on, on commentary or in, in, in the punditry, that Milan aren't going to set up like Forrest. No, 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 you know, no. They're, they're not going to do that. They're so, not going to be allowed to do that at the San Siro. No, no, totally. So, so it was always going to be the case that Liverpool would would get a bit of joy, whether it be on the break or just creating chances. But again, you know, Liverpool going about it the right way, and and slot as well. As I say, the, the configury cuts when he's when he's doing interviews, when he's on touchline. Mm. But he seems unfazed. Totally unfazed. Yeah. It's it's very impressive. He so seems far. like he, it's amazing to be that good slotting there so well, pun intended. And obviously, it's a long way to go this season. Mm. But actually, he doesn't ever really feel or seem like he's under pressure no. or like he's going to lose. His temper, anything like that. You know, when, when I'm not, I'm not comparing them as managers per se, but just in terms of characters, because I understand there's different ways of interpreting the same job. Mm. Now, if you look at Arteta, mm -hmm. it's like he's throwing everything into it all the yeah, time. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. emotionally led, so into a properly <clears throat> exhausting stuff. Same with Guardiola, you'd say. The way Slot seems to go about it is he's just like, right, this is happening, mm -hmm. and we'll deal with it as it comes along. He seems to have a very calm presence, and I think when yeah. stuff t t starts to get a bit tougher that's going to really stand him in good stead because he's going to be in total control. Yes, we shall see. Um, elsewhere uh, in the uh, the Champions League, Bayern Munich beat uh, Dinamo Zagreb 9-2. Harry Kane got four, including a hat-trick of pens. Are we going to call him Harry Pen soon, Peter? Penny Kane. No, no we don't give it would be a confusing thing to say, wouldn't it? Penny yeah. Kane, that's Penny good. Penny Kane. If he played for Liverpool. Good Beatles song, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it is. I've yeah. been on Penny Lane. Have you? Yeah. Any good? Just a road. Yeah. Um, yeah. What Steven. were you expecting? Yeah. Um, like a I, psychedelic experience. Yeah. So, <laughs> so at least some toffee pennies or something. <laughs> toffee you know, pennies. Yeah. Strawberry fields next to it. There you yeah. go. Uh, it's just down the road, incidentally, mm. um, as you'd expect. But yeah, I mean, what a start for old Vincent company in the Champions League. Vish, are you happy for him? Uh, I, I mean, do we know what he's like as a manager? Like, no, not yet. I, that's not what I said. I said it was a Are good start. Are you happy for him or not? Can you share him? the joy? Oh, I, I don't, his I, first I don't Champions care. League game, <laughs> and his and his team has scored nine goals. And you're going, I don't care. Yeah, I'm, you're you're. I mean, you're paid to care. Yeah, because you you're are. in it. No, I know. I have an opinion on it. But <laughs> Tell I, us it, please. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> there we go. You're never going to be on. Yeah, you're never going to get on hard talk. What kind of broadcaster? I'm asking you a question. Please give me an opinion. What kind of broadcaster? I like to make them really work for my opinion. Yeah, I will give a bit, but it takes a. Yeah. On it. If, if you, you read an article of Vicious in the final line, that is when he lets slip. <laughs> yeah. what he actually thinks. Come on, Vicious. What and do you that think? That is about why. <laughs> uh, do you not think? Uh, well, I mean, obviously the game was funny in itself. Like the the, the fact that Dinamo got back. Yeah, to three two. A goal, and then they thought, <laughs> well, score more pens then. Yeah, that, that's yeah, how you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it was when Kane <laughs> scores his third penalty. And companies high five your support staff. He's like, that's not you. Don't, you didn't do that. To, to get, what are you doing? Oh, he put him on pens, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think Harry put himself to on get, pens. To get hammered is one thing, but to 
concede so many penalties is yeah, like you, you you need to fire everyone. But I wonder <laughs> if that psychologically <laughs> makes you feel a bit better as a team that's conceded nine. They're like, well, if they're just going to keep getting, but it's pens. just like, but it's just, <laughs> but it's just like proper chasing shadows. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, there, like, was a, yeah. there was a bit of that. Also, they had two goals disallowed as well. They did, yeah. <laughs> and Musiala was was brilliant. It, it felt a little bit like it looked like they were playing young boys. To be fair, it did. But... Michael Elise scored. Um, a header. Yeah, she did. He's having, he's they, having a, look how they massacred our boy. Um, Just give him the ball. He's, 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 he's not he's our feet. boy. He's, he's France's boy. He's got. Um, oh, fuck him. He made, <laughs> he made his decision. <laughs> he's got nine. Kane's got nine goals in five games this season so far. Yeah, back to back hat tricks. All of them are pens. I was looking this <laughs> up and I thought, I wonder if he's. Lampard. I wonder if he's actually scored more goals in all competitions than Haaland. Alex, everyone's talking about Haaland. No. Uh, if you include international football, <laughs> right? Haaland's already scored nineteen goals this season. <laughs> <laughs> It's the middle of September. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Oh, Unless he's playing in Scotland, there's yeah. no reason to have that many no, goals. Because yeah. you haven't played that many games. <laughs> yeah. Hoy Dog-esque. Yeah, 19 goals already. Bloody hell yeah. fire. Well, you've got to hand it to him. Everybody. But what else does he offer? True. That's what people were saying, what, what, weren't they? Yeah. yeah, 19 goals from 10 touches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Incredible, really, how he does yeah. it. He just bloody wafts them in. He does, yeah. uh, All right, everybody. Uh, coming up in the second half, Paul Mullen fancies a bite of a Birmingham City player. Andy Carroll wants a taste of the French fourth division and we will be taking a big old glug of Carabao. See you in a moment. Instagram might get me a job. So my pro licence, forget my pro licence and all my football experience, Instagram will get me a job. That's great. That. You should have told me that years ago. Well, back to the football ramble, everybody. It's never in the background there that no. does that for me. Never. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just a, a very underrated <laughs> weird man. Have you ever? Has Gary Neville ever like genuinely laughed at anything? No. Because I always feel like it's kind of like, oh, everyone else is laughing. <laughs> no, yeah. I think I think that I was think, a genuine. No, laugh. I think yeah, I think he's. You think? He's, he's got joy in his soul. I think. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I know. I don't mean that as in and when he shouted at that uh, boy over the phone. <laughs> oh, that was good, wasn't for it? For taking his, uh, for giving him a, a crank call. Yeah, what shut was, up, you fucking dick. How'd you, you get, get one? Shut up, you fucking dick. How'd you, you get one? And back? he said, he said, it's t- I got it from Tony Adams' son. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get my number? It's up now, though, isn't it? Yeah. So, and then in, it. Sorry, in that crank. Is that what call- Dennis Love does to you? <laughs> <laughs> in Hello, that Dennis. crank call as well, Devil goes. Who the fuck's Tony Adams? No, oh, he doesn't make a connection. Yeah, he's not from Yorkshire. Is no, I know. Yeah, I don't know where that. I don't know where that went. But then the kid, cricket. You've the got kid, Australian and Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah. The kid on the phone goes, "He used to play for England." <laughs> <laughs> you played with him at England. Yeah. 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 Shut, up. Shut up. Next to him as well. Yeah. Literally. You're next on to him. Yeah. Uh, you only have a few more days, by the way, everybody, to secure <laughs> your ticket for Football Ramble Time Tunnel this. Friday. It's going to be an incredible evening celebrating the funniest moments from the last 17 years of football history. Head to footballramblelive.com to buy your ticket. The clock is ticking and and it really is ticking, Luke Moore. Yeah. Limited. So, so if you're one of those people who doesn't organise things super early and you like to do things last minute. Hello. Uh, Peter, Hi. looking yeah. at you. That's absolutely fine. Obviously, you can still buy a ticket, but I did get an email from the promoter this morning saying ticket availability is now very low so if you are going to go and do it and you want to come see us on Friday night it's going to be great um, it's almost sold out already you can still do it but you need to move quick um, ticket availability is now very low for Friday night and we're bloody excited for it aren't we dynamic pricing is incoming <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh dear right let's go to the Carabao Manchester United 7 brackets S-E-V-E-N Oof. Barnsley 0 come on fish hey yeah, League One Barnsley. Was Can we play you every week? Yeah. They got oh, no, because that, that would be... Man City might be playing them every week. <laughs> do you Yorkshire accent? <laughs> oh, uh, how do you sound like from, from Barnsley? Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's, that's not bad, That's yeah. it. That's, that's Barnsley, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. There you are. I watched this game. Don't know why, but um, I did. Well, a lot of goals. You were vindicated, yeah. really. Anthony got, Anthony got his pen. It, yeah. Anthony got his pen... And it sounded like everyone was booing in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Casemiro was chugging around and it looked great. Yeah. <laughs> He's just chugging around. Do you think he'd had a bit of caramel before the game? And he well, got... I'd like to ask Peter about that because Peter is a famously a massive monster energy drink consumer. Yeah. Mm. Would not... you consider moving over to Carabao? Um, well, I've, I've kind well, the can's of, too small. I, the cans are too small, but I've kind <laughs> of made a, uh, a, a slight sojourn into um, C4 
uh, performance oh. energy. Um, they've got like a, a brand deal with Million Strawberry, you know, those little balls. Oh, oh my God. Um, it sounds like a heart attack and well, a C- C4 is in the explosive. Yeah, stuff. I guess that's yeah, the yeah, yeah. But that, is it the yeah. same company? <laughs> I, don't <want> to know. <laughs> I don't think it is the same company. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I suspect it will do something to the aforementioned uh, bomb hole. Uh, because, <laughs> because it, it does. It Speaking does, of fishes, it tastes, it tastes less like uh, mm. Millions strawberry uh, flavoured sort of chewy uh, uh, candy and more. Be a quick just, way. Just crushed up aspirin. I would just like to say a couple of things about this. One is, mm. Pete, I think we can all agree around here that the best chance your beloved Newcastle United have got of winning the trophy will be in the Carabao. Yes. So you should Fair, probably yeah, support yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. You should mm-hmm. probably support them mm. uh, by drinking as much Carabao as you can because mm. let's be honest, your insides are already fucked. Yeah. So you might you don't drink water but you drink monster physics. <laughs> you drink drinks three drinks. monster energy drinks a day. I, t- I have had uh, I'll be going for my um, second in, in, a, in a couple of hours, no doubt. Uh, you know, University is going to want to study you yeah. when you outlive us all. It's a bad, yeah. it's yeah. A bad time you, to start, as, as discussed. And, but, and, um, and the second point I just want to make is that, are you aware, Peter, and if you are, fair enough, but I want to remind you anyway, that Tuesday, 24th of September, mm. um, Newcastle United head to Plough Lane. Yes, I know. I've been gone. Are you going with Brussels? Uh, I don't know. I've not Both of you should go. About, yeah, we should. Uh, should I, don't go. Know, yeah. said, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Hit currently or not. If he invites me. Last time, last time, um, um, AFC Wimbledon played Portsmouth at Plough Lane they beat him on Panolas oh, did and it they? was very very frustrating because I think Pompey at one point was 3-1 or 4-1 up mm. still didn't win the game uh, what so a beware yeah. buyer beware is mm. all I'll say well, like, Newcastle of course were in the, in the final recently but they were beaten by Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United because he Nodding. keeps bringing it up he remembers it um, so May United were good last night they but they, they didn't need to be that good Barnsley had a terrible time of it at the weekend although they haven't started the season that badly overall but at the weekend they were beaten quite badly they were nowhere near it um uh, last night I, I don't know when Vish will know more about this than me but I wonder given the kind of profile of the players that scored the goals last night and the way that the game went I wondered if that would be a confidence builder for them because like I said I know it's a different challenge but Casemiro started the game alongside and Ugarte you know, trying to find his feet at United and looked okay Rashford got another couple Anthony scored um, Garnacho got a couple of good goals actually and one of them was a really good, like proper strikers' reactive goal. Mm-hmm, yeah, and, yeah. and then Christian Eriksen got a couple too. Who's obviously yeah. been a little bit forgotten about. So yeah, all in all, it's actually a rare, quite embarrassment-free night at the office for United. Yeah, partly Eric- because it didn't rain. Eriksen, yeah. Eriksen, <laughs> Eriksen handing uh, Marcus Rashford the uh, man of the match award. There well, we go. I like to see. Yeah, nice, very lovely. sweet. Rolling very back sweet. the years. Mm. Good to see uh, Rashford though, uh, being playing with a bit more confidence. Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably the the only thing that will carry forward into the weekend against Palace um, is the fact. That Rashford does seem on that bounce, mm-hmm. as it were. You know, because he, he's very took readable. his second goal really well. Yeah, like you'd you'd love to play poker against Marcus Rashford because you know exactly like how he is and what he's thinking. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. just by his body language. Well, that's what Ten Hag said when he's smiling. You, yeah, you know he's, he's right. Yeah. His first goal was was very good. I mm-hmm. appreciate like he, the defender oversells to his uh, right, but Rashford had already taken him that side, brings it inside, scores a nice goal. Does seem a little more. You know, even the first week of the Premier League, he was snatching at things and he does seem a bit more settled. I mean, you know, the proof's in the pudding. We'll see it against, um, you know, we'll see it on Saturday against Crystal Palace. But yeah, that was probably the the one thing I took away. And I was like, oh, he does look a little bit more, it looks happier, looks fitter. And yeah, otherwise, yeah, pretty straightforward. Well, I think it was, a, productive. A, it, was, it was the biggest win under... Ten Hag is the first time United have scored more than four goals. I mean, come right. on. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at who they're playing. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's Fine. Naughty, though, isn't it? Why don't you just look at the scoreline, Pete? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need to go, go over to the other side? I well, thought, um, United, they, haven't, they hadn't won 7 0 under Ten Hag before that game. They'd lost 7 0, of course, but they yeah. won. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 So it's. We've it's seen it out. Yeah, so we're, yeah, bullshit. We're, bullshit. We're, we're bullshit neutral. Ten Hag saying, we've seen 7 before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ganacho was brilliant as well. Yeah, he's just. He's just. I would say, in terms of pecking order, he's above Rashford in terms of. You know what he provides the first team week in week out. Yeah, mm. um, Barnsley manager Daryl Clark was was rather angry though, despite yeah. playing a big Premier League side. He said, "If I hear one of my players tell me Premier League players are poor while watching a game, I'll be giving them a slap because they were miles off it tonight." Yeah, so well, they play in League One. Yeah. yeah, they're two leagues below the Premier League. Imagine if you listen to us. I know. Yeah. What would we, we don't have anything to talk he, about? He will never manage us. <laughs> okay. Not on that performance so last worry. night. Yeah, we didn't want him. Didn't want him. He, he also yeah. said this, it was a proud night for myself, but it's been ruined by the performance. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you'd have taken credit if you'd have got something. Imagine him, get, imagine him getting back on the bus, looking at his players, and go, oh, I was looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah, my family. You really are ruined my night. You yeah. ruined my big day, you yeah. bunch of I told, fools. I told my friends to watch from home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Elsewhere in the Carabao, everybody, uh, Fulham were knocked out by Preston NE. Uh, won all in normal time, and then Preston won 16 of 15. Yeah, it's the first, time, penalties. Tonight, it's the first time I've seen a penalty shoot and got genuinely got bored. It was incredible. Well, and oh, I, and it does f- happen sometimes, doesn't yeah. it? It's like, Fulham not did, to that level. Fulham <laughs> did the right thing, though. If you think about it, people have got to go home, people are getting bored, mm. and we're like, okay, we'll be the ones. They're nothing like, if not polite as we, a club. We will be, we will be the grown-ups here. <laughs> um, yeah, you yeah. Know, we'll do the gentlemanly we'll thing. Not the toys we're, we're, away. Preston, we're walking away. Yeah. We're, we're, we're not <laughs> carrying on this argument. <laughs> we're walking away. The funny yeah. thing was, I think it was the ninth Fulham penalty was missed. They took first. And then Preston missed. Missed as well, yeah. Yeah. And then the keepers took, and it went all the way back round. But joking aside, the size of club Fulham are, the manager they've got an upwardly mobile well respected manager they made some good signs in the summer they're exactly the kind of profile of team that would go do you know what we actually quite fancy the Carabao well, and so for, and it I, is a bit disappointing you, you would as a fan presumably you are quite disappointed about it that. is a little bit because they, they, they reached the semi-final of um, the Carabao last time round and mm. as I've and I've made the point many many times you know, they've never won a major tournament yeah, or major trophy rather in, yeah. in their history and it was, it was like it was a decent side that played last mm. night uh, really so a little bit disappointing but great well, for came, Preston came down to keep it not Saving a penalty, though, isn't it? I suppose you've got to get, get the job done, Peter. Yeah. You've got yeah. to get the job yeah. done for regular times. Yeah. Before, before Barry Davis's penalty competition comes, well, exactly. And, 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 and Rojo rolls into town. And what a contrast to the previous penalty competition because Stoke beat Fleet with 2 1 on pens. Yeah, I think, I think it was what was it, five or maybe six penalties were saved <laughs> and missed. Know, remarkable um, yeah. time. Everton went out on pens as well against Southampton. Yeah. Uh, Southampton won 6 5 on penalties after drawing 1 1. Uh, yeah, and you, you, do, you do think to yourself, yeah. I, I find it quite difficult now to see um, crowd shots at Goodison because I just end up thinking how much mm. more these people got to put up with. Well, what they did was they 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 had a Portsmouth fan in there. They probably did uh, yeah. wearing his Portsmouth mm. top, yeah. obviously blue and blue. You think yeah. he would blend in, but he no, would. he was he was escorted out of the Everton end mm. um, as he was walking out. Though he did with hold a yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was you in a baldy wig. <laughs> um, uh, he, he held up an England flag which had Portsmouth written. There we go uh, across the middle, and uh, the stewards quickly uh, quickly Whipped took it, it away. But he but he got it out there, yeah. And then all the Southampton fans were chanting "wanker" at him. Yeah. So, I mean, to be fair to him, I, I support Portsmouth, and he probably is a wanker. Yeah. So what, <laughs> yeah. You, you you agree with Southampton <laughs> yeah. there? Finally, I told you I was at home all night. <laughs> <laughs> my wife will vouch. I thought you looked tired this morning. <laughs> long trip down from ever, uh, from Liverpool. So yeah, so uh, it's 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 all hotting up in uh, in in the Carabao, uh, and we've got even more Carabao fixtures tonight. Brighton at home to to Wolves and, and Coventry at home to Spurs will it never end before you move on to that can I just ask a question of the group uh, how long do you guys think it is before people start thinking about what Sean Dyche is doing there mm. because they've been really poor overall at the start of this season it's not even I know that they um, have shown in patches that they can play um, and I would say, you know, beating Doncaster at home in the in the in the in the League Cup probably doesn't really register on the radar. Not anymore. That they played. That it's almost like they went two 0 up against Villa at the weekend by accident mm-hmm. and lost anyway. And now they've been knocked out very early on in the League Cup by a team who have also been really poor. I wonder how much longer this is going to go on for, knowing mm. what football's like, because they play Leicester away next and then Palace at home. I mean, they have to get something out of both those games. They do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, a lot of the um, online responses to the defeat yesterday was just memes of David Moyes. Right. So I think that probably <laughs> says it, doesn't it? Spectre at Someone the asked the official uh, Everton account if this was a social experiment. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I think people are like quite far gone with it. I, Honestly, you do watch, you, I'm, I'm, I'm half joking about the crowd shots of, of Everton fans, but you do think to yourself, my God, yeah. the amount of shit they've gone through. I, I work I work with um, an Everton fan who lives down here and his brother still goes and his brother was at the Bournemouth game and he said, it, he's like, the worst. the worst thing about it is is that they entice you in and you mm. remember those, like f- whether it was the first 20 minutes on yeah. the weekend just gone or the mm. 87 minutes against Bournemouth. <clears throat> and it's like, oh, no, we are quite coherent. And you just get battered every single time. To the, but to the point where, like, they've gone through it enough, they're like, I'm just, ha- I'd happily walk away now. 
It's not a good place to be though. Well, is well, it? Yeah. Like for your, for your the, football club, because the crowd have dragged that team through a lot of like near relegation escapes for over probably decades. Yeah, and and they made a big play of how important the uh, the, the crowd have been over the past two seasons uh, of escaping some pr- pretty dire circumstances. But the season ticket just isn't worth uh, the 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 paper it's printed. Yeah, on. well, it's, like it's digital now. Yeah, it probably it's is digital. Yeah, that's a good point, digital, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Fulham, right, the, Fulham have gone totally digital now, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. all-edge screen uh, electrical <laughs> impulses that have been applied to yeah. the Matrix. Yeah, that's right. Very well put. Thank I, you. I think um, it, the, the dial starts to move a little bit as well when you talk about David Moyes. You talk about the fact that, you know, not only did he get them to an FA Cup final, delivered them a fourth place in the Premier League, mm. et cetera, et cetera. He also, like, the last, within two years, has won like a European trophy. Yeah. yeah. And he's a legend there. You can, yeah. you can name the trophy. Um, the Euro. Um, let me get it right. The UEFA Europa Conference League. Yeah, yeah, he won that. He Sponsored by C4. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying that he's, he's, a, he's a spectre at the feast now, isn't he? Yeah, and it's yeah. weird to say it of like fans rather than players, but like how many times can you go to the well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like as an Everton fan, With this yeah. Carabao in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just pull the bucket out for the. Yeah, but actually, but you pull it out of the well and the bottom of the bucket is gone because yeah, the carabao's burned through it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh That's what it's doing to your stomach, Peter. Yeah, I, oh but I welcome it. Yeah, well, let's move on from uh, all this carabao stuff before we feel a bit bloated. Uh, and we, I want to talk um, about the Hollywood Derby that happened on Monday night. League One Birmingham and Wrexham played in the first ever um, dubbed Hollywood Derby. Who called it that, Fucking reckon? shit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think. Who called it? Uh, not me. No, Sky okay. Sports News? I don't know. Yeah. Probably. Oh, almost certainly. <laughs> At midday. Mm, Bir- you got nothing better to do. Birmingham City won 3 1. Yeah. They, did. they did. Can I say something about the Sky Sports News presenters now? Mm. They've, they've gone. They've, <laughs> wow. Here just, we go. They've gone, <laughs> they've gone from Dark being. They, well, they've, no, well, well, I don't. Did Keys ever do Sky Sports News? I think he did. No. Nah, but but the, the, the Sky Sports News presenters certainly used to be that profile of presenter. Right. You think of a Jim White, an older statesman, kind okay, of quite right, smartly yeah. dressed. They used to they used to put together kind of um, uh, uh, uncle and niece kind of part pairings, didn't they? Yeah, I but at least mean. it was an old uncle. Right. And now, What's wrong with a young uncle? Well, now they're all like young uncles who try and be your mate. Oh, right. Right. And they will dress casually. Mm. And they're like... and, and it's Straight the, estate agent that's why they get, yeah. That's why they get Andy Brassel in, the older <laughs> uncle. <laughs> Sky Sports News used to be like a, it used to be a sports version of, say, BBC News. I know what you mean. Yeah. So it would be like, down the barrel... Um, breaking news this hour yeah. something's happened yeah. and it would be d- delivered with a bit of gravitas and fine it was only sports news so you didn't really care that much but they used to do it properly mm. now it's like there's a bloke standing up in a pair of white trainers and some jeans and a, and a, and a jumper going how you doing you're right <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do like, what, what's happening get Mason back in as soon yeah. as she left get Mason yeah. back in there trouble Possibly, but Possibly. that 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 mean. Uh, but you have touched on something there in terms of like that's it's skewed one way, mm. and a lot of serious people decided that's nah, not for no, me. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I just don't know what it's for now. It's mm. like it's like it's like they're trying to deliver news to you by estate agent. Mm. Yeah, but like the estate agent obviously just tries to be your friend. Church they? pastor, Ch- American church pastor. I would prefer that's, that. That's my vibe. To be oh, I see. Yes, you know, it's kind of like. Come on, guys. Yeah. We all know what we're here for. Yeah. yeah. The guy who was friends with Justin Bieber for a little bit. Yes. That but the guy. problem yeah, is, when guy. I turn on Sky Sports, I don't know what I'm there for. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, Birmingham City. Yeah, they, they won. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I just, I, Peter, I don't know where I fit into this world anymore. Mm. Why, why? Because um, because just, I want to say just, loads of stuff. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is, 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 are they calling it the Hollywood Derby because they've yeah. misconstrued the fact that Tom Brady's involved? Just Americans. Mm. Yeah, who, yeah. Who's basically never been involved with Hollywood. Or is right. it because the CEO is still Gary Cook? Oh, Gary Cook. He did an interview the other day and I thought, ah, yesterday. He's back. <laughs> yeah, it was Gary Cook. Good to see him. Yeah. Um, David Beckham was there as well, sat next to Tom Brady. David, why are you doing this to yourself? He's yeah. doing a podcast. He is, is yeah. Is he? Yeah, for CBS. Which is how, to cook, how to cook one small mushroom. With David <laughs> <laughs> how to photograph an elephant. <laughs> um, he, um, he's, he's basically Paxmaning pax uh, his, uh, his studio guests uh, in the same way oh, yeah, that I'll he had got yeah. his uh, partner about having a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's his trick now. Isn't it? I would love it if it's inaudible because Brooklyn's doing the production. Yeah, I, this yeah. is now a yeah. podcast editor. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to. Is see that buzzing in your ear or my ear, Dad? Marcus, presumably you're on board with Pete's kind of idea there of David Beckham just for one night yeah. presenting News Night. Oh yeah, yeah. it'd be great. It, it wouldn't be great. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> He'd look great. <laughs> yeah, spent he, five hours trying to say Hezbollah. <laughs> <laughs> Eba, <laughs> Eba, like we also try to say Ipswich. Yeah, exactly. Ipswich. Ipswich sauce. Get, 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 get some Ipswich fleet Buller. Get some, 
get some Qatari representative on. Right, we've not really heard about the positives yet. So, <laughs> yeah. so I've seen them. Oh, yeah. God. I was out there. Did you oh, threaten to undermine the fullback? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyway, um, one, did anyway. you see the Hollywood Dive? Your Paul, man Stansfeld scored a couple, didn't he? Paul, yeah, Paul, he will do. Paul Mullen appeared to consider biting Alex Cochran's leg. It was a lovely moment because he, he genuinely. Yeah. He didn't go the full Suarez. He well, he, so he went. He went. Yeah. The, there was a coming together. He went down on the ground, and the, and and the leg was like right next to his mouth. And he opens it. At, it really does look like he's going to bite it. <laughs> and then, and, and perhaps we've we've misunderstood that. Mm. Um, but whatever happened, uh, he he didn't decide to bite, and that's he, something that he's, we he's kind of raised his Hollywood game, isn't he? Because he's in Deadpool, wasn't he? Paul yeah, Mullen. yeah. So like he's kind mm. of like he's, he's he's rising to the occasion. He's he's a right? big part of the um, Welcome to Wrexham series. Mm. He's I think he's quite an interesting like. Almost like, not so box office, that's too much, but he's, mm. he's got enough charisma to kind of be a part of it. Mm. And uh, he did say on, on X, um, I know what it looks like, but it didn't happen. Although you can tell his leg was thinking about attacking my mouth. Mm. Nice line. Yeah. He's just got writers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe well, he has. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Are you, I did see that and think content, I reckon. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The moment yeah, of the yeah, match, yeah. though, was when James McLean was, was brought off and he was going past the supporters and he was... Uh, Interacting with them, shall we say? <laughs> um, they were being a lot harsher to him than he mm. was to them. Uh, and then he, someone... he, lived, he rolled his shorts, his shorts up, didn't he, to reveal a tattoo? Yeah, and he gave it a little pat. And, yeah. Uh, and he, yeah, and then someone chucked what I presume was a, a cup of bovril at him, and he caught it, right. and then pretended to drink it, and then threw it down. So it was, it was glorious stuff. Uh, from young Jamesy. What, what is it on the tattoo, though? I can't see. I think, it might see be, it. I think it might be something to do with being um, Irish. Ah, uh, I stuff. think he gets right. a lot of stick wherever he goes because of the Remembrance Day thing. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. so it would be okay. related to that. Yes, yeah, quite possibly, quite possibly. Um, now, that's um, like a Champions League <laughs> match or something. <laughs> That'd be Confusing. a surprise. <laughs> yeah. um, Peter, before we talk about tonight's games, I want to talk about Andy Carroll. Oh, good. Andy Always Carroll. Welcome. Um, he, he's reportedly set to sign for Bordeaux who are currently Ooh. in the fourth division of French football after they went into administration and were punished with a double relegation last month. It's crazy I'm, to think Bordeaux, not that long ago, were a Champions League club themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've seen some good players. Do, do, I mean, do you think that even with, uh, you know, the, this, this sort of double relegation and also, there's still enough money kicking around to keep Andy Carroll in, I don't know what Or to get him. Well, energy well, drinks. Well, well, he's, <laughs> he scored four goals in 31 appearances for, for French um, side Amiens in, in League Two. Last I love season. it. He just loves being in France. It's great, yeah. isn't it? But Bordeaux. Are we a little bit worried that something's happened and he cannot leave France? <laughs> Could be. I didn't like. I didn't like how. Um, I didn't like how snobby and snidey the Sun were in reporting this. Did you yeah. see the line they wrote in the in no, the article? That doesn't they wrote, surprise you. It shows the disappointing fall from grace for the six foot four, four inch striker who's earned nine England caps. Like, he's thirty five. Yeah. He's thirty five. He's, he's having a nice time. He's thirty five yeah. playing football, living in wine country. Yeah. Oh no. Exactly. Yeah. But exactly. Yeah. Bordeaux's <laughs> well known for that, and as and, and, and as you're saying, Pete, that maybe that there's a little bit of money, so he thinks actually. Fourth tier at my yeah. age. No, I'll tell you what he's stuff. thinking. He's thinking, I fucking wish I was a digital sports journalist for the Sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's thinking. I wish I was on a zero hour Sun contract. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I wish him all the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. We all wish him. I want to see him do another overhead kick. Mm. What a goal that was. Yeah. He only scores well these nowadays. That's it. Get him involved. Yeah. Good goals. He only scores good <laughs> goals. He's <laughs> singing a bit like um, Len Goodman from Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah? <laughs> oh, I did, you, know. Maybe you could add him to your repertoire. Yeah. Oh, I tell you. I reckon it's not, it's not too much of a stretch. I think it's equidistant between Hewitt and Forsyth. Yeah. Len okay. Goodman. You can do it. You've got okay. it in your locker. All right. Okay. And if you, you can do probably... Goodman, you can then automatically do Anton de Beck. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Bravo. I can the goal. Oh, no, that's the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and not Len, is it? Gattuso. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Right tonight, Manchester City are hosting um, the side who we should all be, nowadays be calling Inter Milan. Inter uh, Milan, aren't they? Inter Yunnan, as yeah. every funny five-a-side team would have. And fancy Premier League team. Yeah, you know, I've never yeah. seen that genius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doinamo kebab. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Brush, oh, brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go and do cat like somewhere else. But yeah, yeah. I actually genuinely yeah. enjoyed that one. That one it's yeah. a good one. That was it. Was a fantasy yeah. team in the Ramble uh, was, League. That was. Yeah. But yes, uh, Manchester City are playing international, uh, yeah. and uh, Celtic are hosting uh, Slovan Bratislava. We're doing a reaction, aren't we? You and I. We bloody well are. Yeah. Ooh. So tune into that. Uh, yeah. Where we will be having some football chat um, and some banter. So uh, oh, look yeah. forward to <laughs> that. Yeah. Don't like, we don't like that. And you will enjoy some banter <laughs> together. Together. <laughs> Lord Banter as well. There you are. Hey, just, it's classic oh, yeah. Bants and today's best gags. <laughs> Lord, B- Lord Binge is always welcome. Binge. Yeah, he won't talk about. He won't talk about why you can't do broadcast at ten pm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you two have kids. Yeah, it's true. I it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I've got your kids, Dan. <laughs> oh, dear. Cheers for watching another fantastic clip from the Football Ramble podcast. Make sure you click like on this video and subscribe to the channel, which means you will not miss a single upload.